It's Miss Gabby again, and it's time to learn English. Now, for English today, we are going to talk about toy box. Hmm, if you had a toy box, what kind of toys will you put in there? Wow, look at all these toys. Don't you like to play with toys? Can you see all the colors there? Which toys do you like? Do you like to play with Legos? Or do you like to play with cars? How about the girls? Do you like to play cooking? Or play with dolls? Look at the Barbie house. Isn't it nice? I would like to have one of those. Or would you rather to play with the airplanes? It's fun to play with those too. Or how about these cars? If you are able to choose, which toys will you put in your toy box? Now in your book on page 7, I want you to design your own toy box. Draw the toys you will put in your toy box. You can choose any toy you want to draw. Then I want you to complete the sentence there. It says, there is a blank and a blank inside my toy box. I want you to write the name of the toys. Just two toys in the blank provided. Now look at these kids. What are they doing? They're playing together. Look at them. Do they look happy? Yes, they look very happy because they are playing together. Would you feel happy if you played together with your friends? If you had lots of toys, would you share it with your friends? How would you feel if you shared your toys with your friends? Would you feel happy? How would you feel if someone did not share their toys with you? Or they didn't play with you? How would you feel? On the second part of page 7, I want you to look at the pictures there. There is four pictures. Look at them one by one. Who is sharing? Can you see from the four pictures who is sharing and who is not sharing? I want you to put a tick, a tick mark for the ones or for the pictures that is sharing and a cross for the pictures that does not show sharing. Now friends, it is important for us to share, to play together. Why? So we can learn to make friends and we can learn to play cooperatively. And most important, it will teach us to be fair with one another. So that was our lesson for today. I hope you were able to understand. So thank you for learning with Miss Gabby today. And I will see you again on our next online class. Bye.